Atlas Pipe Piles provide strong support for deep foundation projects of all sizes all across the continent. Our straight seam ERW steel pipe piles are 100% made and melted in North America and lay the foundation for some of the most recognizable structures. From the bridges that connect our communities to the stadiums we call home, it all starts with Atlas Pipe Piles. For a peek into our manufacturing process, we'll tour the 500,000 square foot facility in Chicago, Illinois. This facility features three production lines. At peak production speed, the Atlas team rolls 1,000 tons of pipe piles in a single shift, all of top quality. Let's take a look at the Atlas manufacturing process. Every pipe pile is born from hot rolled coil steel and the quality assurance process starts early. Atlas technicians test incoming steel coils for tensile properties and yield. To maintain flexibility and quality control, Atlas slits its own coils to size based on the pile diameter to be run during a particular shift. Once they're slit, the coils are loaded under the tube forming line. Once the steel is uncoiled and flattened, it's joined to the end of another coil. This end weld is also called a butt weld. It is cut out and scrapped and never makes the pipe yard. Once joined, a one continuous sheet enters the production process. Quality and material tracking is a critical aspect of the process. To ensure full traceability, the heat number of the steel used is permanently engraved in an ID stamp on the inside of the pipe. This heat number enables Atlas and our customers to trace the steel source and manufacturing date. The number is subsequently stenciled on the pile's external after it's formed. This facility, like all Atlas tube facilities, operates with time-tested proven procedures and equipment that enable us to receive, produce, and ship our piling products faster than anyone in the marketplace. An accumulator stores up to four coils so that the subsequent stages within the process never experience a material lag. This ensures maximum efficiency. A continuous coil of end welded steel heads into the spiral accumulator. As it travels, our entry operations team is able to seamlessly switch coils back at the entry point without ever stopping production. Five forming rolls work like rolling pins to shape the welded steel strip into a curve. Each one bevels the pipe a bit deeper until the flat pipe takes on a U-shape, about 70% of its finished shape. You can see they're the brightest spot in the factory thanks to the continuous polishing effect. These rollers can be changed out quickly to run piles of different diameter or steel gauge, enabling our team to complete a drop-in rolling for customers with an urgent need. Finally, the rolling presses change from convex to concave and gradually push the ends together, making sure they line up evenly. And the strip edges are burnished clean to ensure a high quality weld, the next step in the process. Atlas straight seamed pipe piles are welded utilizing electric resistance welding. Abbreviated as ERW, this welding process utilizes two copper contact shoes to pass electrical current through the strip edges of the coil. Resistance to that flow of electricity causes heat to build up in the strip. The heat zone can reach 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit, all while the line is running at speeds of up to 120 feet per minute. The result is a continuous longitudinal weld with pinpoint accuracy, and the pipe is ready for finishing. Any excess seam from the weld is carved off by the scarf cutter, making a smooth and almost invisible seal. And then the pipe is ironed while the weld and pipe is still hot to get the right size and diameter for installation. After the ERW welded seam is complete, the pile moves on to ultrasonic testing. This test checks the integrity of the electric resistance weld and detects the presence of any internal flaws. Any defections are automatically cut out and part of the Atlas 100% quality guarantee. After weld integrity is confirmed, the pipe is cooled down gradually by a constant stream of water and coolant to prevent cracking or splitting. The Turks heads work the pile to a final and precise size and a superior surface finish. Prior to cutting, there is one last step. The heat number is stenciled on the pile's exterior this heat number is identical to the ID stamp engraved on the inside of the pile at the beginning of the process. 
Now the pipe is verified and ready to be cut to size. It's not the saw, but the way that you use it. The cutoff saw is on a rail and actually grabs and moves with the pipe as it cuts. Again, everything is designed to keep the process moving. Most important, this saw and the Atlas project-oriented approach enable us to ship different piles of different lengths to customers on the order. Finally, the piles undergo two destructive tests. The cone test tests the integrity of the weld by forcing a hydraulic press until the test piece fails or is expanded to a predetermined amount, without failure of the ERW weld seam. Flatness testing involves flattening a sample with a weld at the vertical and horizontal axis, or 0 and 90 degrees to the direction of force. This test verifies weld integrity and the ductility of the steel itself. Every Atlas pipe pile is barcoded and given an original mill test report, or MTR, from the producing mill. All Atlas MTRs are backed by coil certificates from our steel supplier, which are reviewed before the coils are shipped to our plants. The Atlas mills are set up to produce piles of nearly any length, all the way up to 125 feet. Each year, more than 130,000 tons of steel pipe piles are shipped from our plants or at least 100 truckloads and 8 rail cars per day. Atlas pipe piles are shipped directly to stocking partners and project sites throughout North America and internationally. With Atlas pipe piles, you know you're getting the strongest support for your deep foundation projects.